Hello everyone, welcome back to Baby Live Lower 100. I'm Abby and this is Juniper. Today we are going to be feeding her some very thick banana pudding. Um, I tend to like save some thick foods that I have made in the past. Um, I don't know why, sometimes I just make food and I never use it. So I thought this was the perfect time to use it since I haven't fed Jinper in a while and she can eat really thick foods. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. So here's Jinper and here's the food. It's a pretty thick consistency. Um, I might add more water though because it's I think it's too thick to go down here so I'm just going to add a little bit. see how that is. So I'm going to mix this up. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this will go down here. It's pretty thick, but it's still, it's still pretty like, it's just the right consistency. So we are going to eat her now. I have the bowl here with the banana pudding, so let's give her her first bite. And it's already getting clogged, <laughs> okay. Um, let's see, I don't have, oh, never mind, I did. She's already getting clogged already and it's been her first bite wow okay I like to have um, I like to make my foods a little bit more like watery because so then it will be easier to go down I might need to put some more water in this in her food, I'm just gonna put a little bit more water. But she's eaten foods like this in the past. So I'm sure it'll go down just fine. You probably just might need some water. seems to be going down pretty good actually yep it's going down perfect got a little bit on her nose I'm just gonna move a little bit over here so I can kind of get a better view and use both my hands This is really thick, so. I'm pretty sure it will go down. And the reason why I keep checking under her bib is because um, this bib isn't the best bib. Yeah. It's pretty, like, shallow on her neck. Like, it doesn't really cover that blood guy. Usually like it too, but I just wanted to test it out on her. Because I just got it, like, very recently. Oh, I guess it kind of works. But it really doesn't under here, and I'm scared for her speaker her speaker is right under the bib. So I'm hoping nothing touches the speaker. But we never know. Yeah, the bib is clean. And I'm going to feed her water at the end just to help it go down. 
Oh my gosh. Oops. That's okay. Just have to wipe off her eyes. We can wash her face after. All right. <laughs> If you guys have any like recommendations for videos or any tips for feeding, I can gladly take those. Oh my gosh. And it's almost already gone. That was quick. Most of it is on her face. <laughs> I'll probably need to wash it off with a red rag, uh, rag or something. A washcloth. I don't want to activate her speaker. So I'm trying not to touch her tongue. Because that's what activates it. It's really hard. needs to be a little more straight. Okay, that's straight. Yeah, most of it's going down, which is great. feed her some water to help it go down her throat. Alright. And yeah, that should be it. That is going to be the end of this video. Sorry it's a little short. I just wanted to do something kind of different from my other videos and just sort of calm down and just feed a doll. I think it was really relaxing and I love to feed babies that are meant to be fed. It's just awesome. So comment down below if you would like to see more videos like this. Um, so yeah, that'll be the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like subscribe, comment if you can, and yeah, me and Ju Juniper will see you in the next video. Bye!